Join us as we continue the hunt for the spirits of the Bush Ranger Hotel and try to find out the truth behind the stories of a little girl in spirit and the dark man who reportedly still wanders the pub causing trouble. Welcome back to the dark side. What the fuck was that? We've heard there's a little girl that lives here. We'd love to... Oh! Oh, Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Okay. Let's keep going. Cat pulls are going, everything's going. Thank you! You must be very lonely. You must be so happy to have somebody come in and talk to you. Feel. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's, it's just a spiritual altar, it's okay. <coughs> yeah. Well, look, my name's Anne. You can call... The lights just went on in the room behind me. They just switched on. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Hit the jackpot. Oh, darling. No, I'm, I'm Anne, and this is Renata. Hello. So you might Hello. be used to using sort of more formal names. If you want to call me Auntie Anne, that's okay. I'd love that, actually. I'd love to be Auntie Anne. And you can call her Grandma Renata. <laughs> oh, she's a naughty girl. Yeah, I know. Yes, I can't help myself, can Such I? Such a naughty girl. <laughs> I heard that you had a, a little bit of an accident on the stairs. Did that happen to you? I was conjured. No, no you weren't. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> All right. Has somebody told enough stories that it's created a little girl that is here? Because that can happen, Renata. That can happen, yes. That's true. So they talk about a little <clears throat> girl in a white dress that fell down the stairs. Is that a true story or is somebody telling fibs? So if it's a true story, you can make all of these lights light up all at once. And if it's a fib, if someone's telling lies, Make one of those little balls light up, and that way we'll know. And we'll have a yes and a no, then we can work it out. So is the story of a little girl falling down the stairs true? Or is somebody maybe stretching the truth or lying? We don't mean disrespect to anyone. Sometimes stories are just told over and over, they become legend. Do you want to play with the teddy bear? Amy. Amy. Hello, Amy. Is that your name, Amy? That's a very nice name. How old are you, Amy? Show us that you're here. We have got lots of pretty lights and things out for you. If you want to come and play with them, you are more than welcome. You are allowed to touch them. You're allowed to move them. We'd love that, actually. It'd make us really, really happy. Was that out there or out there? I didn't hear it. I don't... What did that, you hear? That was a noise out there, then. I didn't hear it from here. That's a big no, noise out there. I trust you. What sort of noise was it? Um, like something shifted and moved. Ah. Was that you were out in the other room? Sorry, I talked over Auntie Renata. That was very rude of me. Abandon. Come out here. We'll talk to you. Come to us. And the lady here <clears> at the <throat> hotel knows you're here, so... You haven't been abandoned. Don't think that. I think 
think she fell. I don't, if, I don't think that there was a... a Katie! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You're not at all jumpy. Are you a ghost? I'm really jumpy tonight. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Just, just, just keep going, keep going. Um, so, Amy, uh, I know you just mentioned the word Katie there, a name Katie. Was somebody pushed down the stairs? Is that what happened? Were they pushed? You can make the lights flash if that's a yes. I think you had a fall, didn't you, little one? You probably had something in your hand you were looking at and you didn't see the steps properly. You just mistimed it and yep. fell down? Fell down. Bang, 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 bang. Down the bottom. Right where the teddy bear is. Is this where you landed? Right down here? I imagine it would have been quick too. Which part did hurt the most when you fell? I bet it was up here. Hunting. Wasn't it? <laughs> Katie, are you here? If you knew Amy, what was your, um, how did you know Amy? Was she a friend or a sister or just somebody that happened to be here? Are you putting the portal on over here? Yep. I can actually put the, um... Do you want to do Estes? Bless you. Bless you. Did you hear that? Yeah, but Bless I did. Bless you. Aw, you've got beautiful manners. Is this better? Is this better, better for you? Yes. Move forward. Okay. There you go. So, Amy? Yeah, Amy, how old are you, sweetheart? About eight? Or was that the seven straight after it? You're little? Yes, I know that. What happened on the stairs? Let me in. What happened on the stairs, sweetheart? Did your mama call you down the stairs? No. What was that? It sounded like it, it happened. <clears throat> so your mama called you down the stairs? And you had to run down because she was angry at you. Oh, I think that was a swear word just there. What's your name, Amy? <laughs> if it was Amy, say Amy, so we know. <laughs> you see, we've got a teddy bear down here. A really cute teddy bear. You can come and play with that if you want to. If you get really close to him, his paws will light up different colours. Yes. 
Outside? Who's outside? Mum. Mum. <clears throat> Will your mum ever let you play with us? Can your mum let you play? Were they lights? It just, just all went up again. Shall we go outside to play? We can all go outside and we can play a really fun game. <coughs> that's what you'd like. You tell us what games you would like to play and we will play them. You know the one. Ring a ring a rosy, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall. It's a bad song to choose. Sorry, I just saw another light go there. I don't know where that was. <laughs> we all fall down. That's a bad song to choose, Ant. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh. What? I am so much it said you're full of shit. <laughs> I am sometimes. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? Are you happy? Do you want to have a crack at the esters? Sure. Do you want, um, I'll use the spirit box. Yes. i now sitting at the top of the stairs and she's listening to the SB11. So we're going to do what's called the Estes me method, where she's going to call out words that she hears. Um, and she can't hear the questions I'm asking. So if she starts to give me answers to what I'm asking, I've got something interesting that's happening. Hello. We'd like to talk to you tonight. My friend Renata is sitting up the top of the stairs. Yes. Thank you. She's got a very sore voice tonight, so you, you'll have to be very kind to her. I did it. Who am I talking to? Grab me. Who am I talking to? Step back. Did something happen to you on these stairs? This? The lady there with the funny thing over her ears, she could hear your voice if you talked to her through that box. I'd love Me, to me, me, me. That's right, we're gonna make it all about you. We'd love to hear your story. Tell me what happened. It doesn't matter. I know, but we'd like to get the story straight. Did you get hurt? You said a naughty word. Oh, I'm always saying naughty words. I'm sorry. One of two. <laughs> Which one was the worst one? So when you were coming down the stairs, what happened to you? Did you trip? Or were you rushing because mum had called out to you? A long time ago. Yeah, we know. Thank you. <laughs> You've got very good manners. What's your name? We'd really love to be able to give you a name here. So the only problem. Well, you tell me what you the first. Name. My name's Anne. My my full You name. first. Okay, I'm Mrs. Anne Rekovic. You're probably used. Here to, we go. You're probably used to adults telling you their full name. So I'm Mrs. Anne Rekovic. Now show me your good manners, and who am I talking to?
come on, don't be shy. I have a horse. Oh, do you? I love horses. What colour is it? I'm looking at you. Oh, are you? Do I look okay? Looking. Is there anything you want to say to me? I'd love to hear about your horse. A little girl. Mm-hmm. Across the road. Yeah. It's a game. Ah, oh, was this your friend? Running, running, running. Ah. Oh. Did you get caught up in your skirts, maybe? No. Oh, okay. Did lights just go off? That's clever. You're very clever to make those lights change like that. <clears throat> Did you feel that? Actually, it's just got really cold right next to me, right here. Really cold. Is that you that I can feel? Are you standing right next to my arm? Ah, okay. I'm not allowed that. Well, no, the teddy is down here, and I give you permission to come and chat to that teddy. You can give him a big Speak hug. Speak up. You can give him a big hug. You did it. Do you know Katie? Do you know Katie? I wear pretty things. I bet you do. There goes that light again. I don't know what's going on in there. <coughs> pub! It's a pub! It is a pub. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Do you like <coughs> it? It's so pretty. <coughs> You're doing great work with them. You're so clever. Speak to me. Oh, I am. Did you like to sing songs? <laughs> Renata said I shouldn't have sung that song to you before. I can do other ones. That's nice. Okay. What about Twinkle Twinkle? It's late. Twinkle star. Oh. We have to go. Oh, do we? You've got to let this old lady up here go to bed, huh? I'm glad she can't hear me. She's had a big day. We've driven a long way in a car to come and see you. Yeah. Down the bottom. Well, that's where all the lights were going off and that's where I felt the cold. It's like really cold here. Is there any place that we should go to that we can speak to Constable Samuel? It's a bad boy. Oh, no, I think Constable Samuel was a good boy. I think he was one that tried to help. If we go outside... I don't trust them. Okay. Oh. Did they sleep? Late. You? Yes. Okay. But sometimes adults have to be a little bit scary with children to, to look after them. Because sometimes children do silly things. And if they do something that scares them... My mum is here. Oh, okay. I'm glad your mum's here. How about you go with her? Will you go with your mum? You don't have to stay here anymore. In the back. Fireplace. Oh. What's in the fire? There's noises out there. I just heard footsteps. Is that you outside near the fireplace? Because that's where the fireplace is. It's out there. Was that you? Well, I just heard. Watch me move it. Oh, please do. Which one are you going to move? Good. Yes. Which one? 
in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> I can wait for you. It's broken. Oh no, don't tell me that. I'll be really sad and cry. I think we need to give the lady up there a little bit of a rest. I think her voice is getting very tired. <clears throat> Thank you for talking with us. In the kitchen. Oh, okay. Well, you go get yourself a little snack or something to eat. And I'm going to tell Auntie Renata she can have a little rest now. Is that okay? He turns on the taps. I bet they do. You get in trouble for that and wasting water out here, hey? Big boy. I'm going to behave. Naughty myself. boy. I'm going to behave myself. What were their names? <laughs> oh, for God's touch me here. Wait! Are you touching my hair? Sit down! I'm, I'm sitting. This sounds like someone different. I was going to stop her, but we're in too much of a roll. This is someone different now, isn't it? Oh, shit! You right? You right? What happened? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, shit. <laughs> Use words, Renata. Use words. <laughs> Not that she can. She's... I was... I, I turned here and right here is this dark shadow standing right here. Right in this... Wait, <laughs> what? a shadow person? <laughs> no, it was just a dark shadow form. It, it was really dark. You've seen something. Yes, it was really. It scared me. Obviously. Obviously. Because we were just about to pull you up and stop because you were talking about this bad boy, bad boy, something. Um, and I said, this is a dif different entity. This is something different that's coming now. Oh. And then you all jumped out of your skin. The balls go off. <laughs> that could be Renata shaking. I think that could be Renata shaking. So after we took a moment to collect ourselves in Collector, we headed out to the memorial of Constable Nelson for one last attempt at contact. So we've come outside now to the memorial to the constable that was murdered here by the Ben Hall gang. And we have to be very mindful because there is a house right here. There's also the people who were in the pub who will be sleeping up behind us. So we thought, we were told several times to come outside. So here we are. Got a couple of capels down here. A little lantern. And Renata has the spirit talker. But we just have to be very quiet. I also believe that a place where your life essence has spilled onto the ground holds a certain memory or... Um, because blood in magic is something that's very powerful, part, part of your being, part of your essence, your life force. So this to me would be a more powerful place for us to visit him where he actually died than where he was laid out. Although there was a lot of grief attached to his family coming to see him there, I imagine. But anyway. So firstly, we pay our respects. I don't want to talk. Oh, I can, oh. I can understand. This I don't want to be... talk. Oh. 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 Okay. We all respect that. Okay. I can understand that this would be horrible for you, and we don't mean to be disrespect disrespectful, so we will leave you in peace, but we will go and speak to the person that's inside the hotel that was getting a bit aggressive with us and we'll see if we can get them myself if you could protect <clears throat> us but still help us get information we would really appreciate it thank you we'll bid you good night well we got told doesn't want to talk so we're not talking we won't push it well, what do we do after that? I'm told we don't that want was, to talk. It was short, wasn't it? Yeah. But 
This is, I suppose, what we do. I know other ghost investigators, hunters will go and say, oh, give us another sign, show us that you really want us to go, do something else to show us you really want to go, um, or you want us to go. Yeah, once is enough. Yeah. Being told once. He was polite, and yeah. he, the, the lights went off at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I have asked him, will he protect us this evening from the angry man or whoever this man is? Yeah. Maybe we'll do a little vigil, we'll see, but I, I'd like to respect what's happened <clears throat> yeah. and um, leave it at that. Mm. We've had some good activity. Yeah, it's been good. And it's been so good just to investigate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on our own. On our own, apart from Cousin yeah. Steve. And, and not worry about having to entertain anyone yeah. else, just do our thing. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It, it, it is what it is. And... I've had a great time, and the, the, the people here have been so kind and generous to allow us to run amok inside their pub with uh, no restrictions, really, apart from we weren't allowed in the bar where the real spirits are, but it's probably a good thing with her. She's just, yeah, old soak. That's it. <laughs> it was a good night, so I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a comment in the, the um, comments down below. Have you given this video a thumbs up? Uh, subscribe to the channel and please, please share it around. Thanks for being with us. See you on the dark side.